Hey YouTube, Blastoise Rules here today, and it is Christmas Eve. I got a bunch of packages in the mail. Um, I was actually waiting for four others, but they did not arrive in time, and that includes my X and Y booster boxes. So obviously I'm going to have to wait a couple more days until after Christmas to get those. But um, I'll show you what I got. So... In here, I'm going to go through the huge amount of E-Series 4 and 5 cards I got in Japanese. These are all the hollows. There's a couple of random rares and stuff. And then um, the commons and uncommons, too. Uh, first, here are some cards that I got in from the SMG quest. These are all level X's. They all do have damage on them, but they were only 2 bucks each, so I picked them up. Didn't think they'd be as bad as uh, as they are. There's only two that are pretty decent, but we got a Regigigas, Garchomp. That one's really cool. Mesprit, love this one. Honchkrow, two of them. One is first edition and one isn't. Gardevoir, first edition. Palkia, two of those, first edition. Different Palkia, first edition. A Azelf, which I really like too. Now I need an Uxie. And a Glade, first edition. I think these are the two that are in better shape than the rest of these, but um. Oh well, I mean, they got like Edgeware. A couple of them have some smaller creases. Either way, um, there'll be placeholders in my collection for now, so still not a bad deal. So when he does say excellent condition, though, just make sure that you know that they are in excellent condition. They're not going to be near mint, but um, there's that. Just got in four booster packs of Majestic Dawn. A Dark Cry, Hippodon, Garchomp, really like that cover, and Empoleon, one of each pack art. These are for my sealed collection. <clears throat> um, I'm thinking that I might buy more of them though, because I do need quite a lot of cards from the set, the majority of the set for commons, uncommons, and non hollow rares. But, um, the packs, I'm, I'm finding them really cheap right now, so if I can pick them up for $2.50 more, a pack each, I'll get some to open. Just commons and uncommons from this set are like a 20 cents to a quarter a piece or something, and for the same price, I can just buy the packs and open them myself, so. Yeah, so these four are from my sealed collection, though some packs you don't see all too often. Um, these shipped EMS. They are Japanese. They are X and Y collection related, so at least I got these today. Hmm, what three ultra rares from Japanese did I get on? We have a full art Yavato. Let's show these a little better. These cards are really gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. They're all first edition and mint. The deal I got on these three full arts was fantastic. It, it really, really was. And they got shipped EMS too, which cost 12 bucks. And I didn't even pay for shipping, it was free. Got Emolga. This one's in a uh, 
a sealed sleeve within another sleeve. I'm not going to take it out because it's a pain and it's the middle of the night. But it's first edition. So my conclusion basically is this set is going to be complete. I have the three full arts already. Um, all I need to do is pull the regular EXs, the hollows, the one mega from the set, which wouldn't shouldn't be too hard. And here's my favorite one. Oh yeah. I've been waiting for this card. And Japan has top loaders that open from the side too, that's weird. This thing is gorgeous. I'm in love with this card. Thinking that I should pick up a bunch of these. Just because of how awesome it looks. And with it being my favorite Pokey, you know. But we have a Full Art Blastoise EX. Hoping to pull one of these myself, too. That would be incredible. Really, really would. And I can't wait for, uh... The next Japanese set to come out with all the Charizard EXs and Mega Charizard Y and Mega Charizard X. Can't wait to pull a bunch of them. And I really can't wait to open these. So hopefully Thursday it'll be here. I'm hoping. Thursday or Friday. It shouldn't take longer than that. Unless it gets delayed because of the holidays. Should have paid for EMS shipping to be honest. It would have been ten bucks more and I would have got it a, like a week ago. Yeah. So it was really sweet. But um also got these in. One's still sealed, one's not. And I'm gonna go through the E-Series cards I got. So we got an E-Series binder right here. Just put this together. They're all platinum pages. Really, really high quality. Um, I got Series 1. Series 2. Let's get into 4 and 5. That's what I got with this order. So. Alright, Series 4. So, commons, uncommons, rares are in here. Show them quickly. Obviously, there's spots open for cards that are missing. That's a rare. Most of these are first edition. Rare Polytoad, Rare Raichu, Rare Raikou, that's a pretty hard one to get. Rare Alakazam, love that card. This is Rare too, Starmie. There's that sand truth that showed through the other page. Another Rare. This page is complete, minus one card. Don't remember what it is, but it's a colorless Pokemon. This is called a buried fossil. I guess it's a uh, could be Omanite, Kabuto, or Aerodactyl. It's cool. Scarmory, Desert Shaman. Series 5. Um, some of these are unlimited. I think 13 of them are from this set. Uh, 
so I'll eventually get them in first, all in first edition, like unlimited first edition. That's a rare. Really nice rare right there too, Arcana. Like that Lapras a lot. Oh, binder. Really nice gun guard rare. Is that too rare? All the rares are first edition except for one, which is nice. Champ rare. These look crystal clear on camera too, that's really nice. But um this one rare hound doom is the one that's unlimited. You don't see the first edition sign there. Um, first off, I was saying I found all these on eBay. The seller was listing them all individually, the hollows. Um, I contacted the seller instantly after winning a couple of them. They were buy it now, and they were really, really cheap. I just said, Can I buy all these off you? Made her a really low ball offer of a buck each. Um, she countered at 150 each, and I said, Yeah. I'm down, um, which was awesome, which is, to be honest, what I was trying to get them for, but you always slow ball with the first offer, because it usually gets you a lower price, um, so, she had a couple other random cards up that I needed, like a rare B drill. this one is the only card that's not near mint, the back on it is, uh, some wear, but all the non hollow rares I got for 50 cents each, the hollows 150 each, and then I did get a crystal also, so I'll go into that at the end. But, um, she had a couple East series or Neo 2 hollows up, Butterfree, which is one that I need, it usually goes for about five bucks or six bucks, so I picked it up. I think I only need like four other cards from this set now. Tyranitar, hollow. This one, I have one, but mine's damaged. It's another expensive hollow from the set. So I got that. And first edition Clefable hollow from Expedition, E Series 1 Japanese. The rest of these are all E-Series 4 and 5. So we'll start with the E-Series 4. And they're all in um, nice sleeves too. Some of them are even in pop sleeve. The organized play. We have Letty in hollow. And they're all first edition. And actually, all these hollows, I think there's like three or four that are near mint. The rest are all mint. They were all listed as near mint, which I'm really happy that a lot of them are mint, too. We got Crobat. Flareon. The Flareon and Jolteon, she had priced higher, but there were um, bit of a hassle trying to, to get the stuff off of her so she just like she threw them in for the 150 each which was really nice so Flareon a 
cargo. Polytoad. Raichu. All Hollow. There's that Jolteon. And, um, the Flareon and Jolteon, I think, are the two two of the couple that have, uh, that are near mint. They got, like, a ding on them or something. Which doesn't matter, because, I mean, they're really cheap, and it's a really hard set to get, too. A really epic one right here. I'm gonna show that off. I know Waker and Collapse needs this card still. And it is one beauty and one expensive card. Try looking for this card on eBay in even English. It's like 30 bucks hollow. It's crazy. That's really, really nice. I may grade the. It's a really, really awesome card. And Alakazam, another one of my faves. It looks really nice in the sleeve, too. Have it in English, now I got the Japanese one, too. Starmie. Polyrath. I think that's another one that's near Mint. And Fortress. On to E Series 5. Got quite a stack here. We we'll start with Arcanine or Arcanine, whatever you want to pronounce it as. They are all hollow, even if they don't look good. Moltres. Dugong. This one's epic, like completely epic. Gyarados. I've been wanting this card for so long, just like the Raikou. Magneton. Gengar. Champ, Macargo, Houndoom, Magneton, and Steelix. This one's in an Ultra Pro, whatever you call it, sleeve. The yeah. can't think of what they're called, but they're those see-through sleeves. I think they're like Pro Fit or something like that. Steelux. And the last card. To be honest, I thought this was mint at first. It turns out it's not. It's near mint. There's a, a flaw on it. So let's show the back first. There's a flaw right here on the top. Don't know if you can see that. But there's like a... It's not a crease. It's sort of like the, the edge is damaged like it came out of a binder or something. Or I pulled out of a pack too quickly and got stuck on it. It is my first Japanese crystal, and it's a golem. This sparkle is incredible. You can see that on camera. Sort of hard to see. It's dark. Sorry about that. But this is really, really sweet. And it is first edition too. And it is near mint. And it will probably be graded because of how valuable of a card it is. This card's easily 125, 150 bucks. Um. And the best part of it, it was on eBay, starting bid at 5 bucks. buy it now, $10. I saw it, I clicked buy it now in a heartbeat.
too bad a couple months ago I didn't see the seller because uh, she had a Hello Crystal Japanese first edition that sold for five bucks. I would have bought it. All these Japanese crystals are easily mostly about a hundred bucks to two hundred bucks each depending on the condition. And I did actually have um, a PSA 9 of this that I was going to get from Jordan Japan Pokemon, but um, the deal fell through. I ended up getting pulled over and got a ticket. It sucked. I really wanted the card, but, you know, life comes first. I had something to deal with, so. Just thought I'd show all these off, though. So that's my first Japanese crystal. There's nine total. And now having one makes me want to buy the others. <laughs> um, I think I might pick up a Lugia sometime soon. Because it's, for some reason, one of the cheaper ones. It's like $115. But um, I want it, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this really, really awesome E-Series purchase, along with all this other really cool stuff, especially this one, one sexy card right there. I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. I'm hoping Thursday or Friday to get these booster boxes in the mail. Um... If they're not here then, I would say Monday at the latest. If it takes longer than that, then the post office and I are going to have a problem. So, Thanks for watching, though. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos. Comment, rate, subscribe if you'd like to stay up to date with my videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great night and a Merry Christmas. Bye, everybody.